What up YouTube? So this is gonna be part six of the Toyota MR2 K20 Z1 swap barred. And uh, today we're gonna be starting on the wiring. So first thing we're doing is gonna get this uh, K-Tune immobilizer wired into the E-plug. Um, this is the, the harness for basically um, converting everything over uh, from the Toyota chassis to the Honda motor. And then this is from the stock car. So we're gonna take all our deep end the E-plug for all the EVAP. And we're also going to install a um, secondary O2 sensor as well. So the original harness only comes with the primary. Uh, so we'll be doing a secondary as well. And then uh, getting all the EVAP wired up and ready to go. And then we got a couple other things to do. And then I think we should be able to start the car. So. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this installed and the evap wires will deep pin that and put them back into the uh, new plug that we got right here. And we'll come back and show you what I did and then we'll see what we have to do next. Alright guys, so we're back with the harness repinned and everything for the mission. So these are the mission wires right here. We got this plug and this plug. This is actually two of them. Uh, the older ones have three of them. So we got that tapped in and then I tapped in uh, for the secondary O2. I just have to extend it so they're not completely on here already. But I got the relay for that uh, coming for the secondary and then uh, pretty much that's done. So this is an O2 to O4 conversion and we're doing O5, O6. So uh, I had to repin or I had to put the pin for fuel on to the number 16 I believe right there and then so that changes up and then I got the immobilizer uh, pinned in here for the code and for the immobilizer obviously and then these are black is going to be ground yellow is going to be power so we got that next we got the little uh, conversion so same thing with this one you just got power uh, ground and then this one's for the AC, the blue one's for the mobilizer or multiplex. I think brown is for the oil temperature and purple is for the electronic coolant temperature. So we're gonna tap those in. Uh, I'm gonna connect these connections right now through the engine harness. And then we also have to extend, cut and extend. Uh, the power wires i don't know where they're at right now they're probably at the bottom but yeah we're going to extend that so one power wire is going to come over here and then the other power wire that goes to the starter and everything uh which should be around here somewhere but yeah we got to get the starter connected to the battery power and we're going to do the connections right now and then we'll come back and see what we got to do next all right, so we're back now and uh, we got a lot of things done. We got some grounds on here and uh, we got our ground on our transmission. Uh, we wired up the immobilizer and I got the power running from the starter to uh, the fuse box as well. So that's ready to go. I didn't wire the like multiplex and stuff. I just want to see if this thing starts up or not. Kind of give you guys a sound clip real quick before we go into the next video and finish everything up but uh yeah this is the first time i'm trying to crank it up and start so let's see if it works out let me see it get up in here that should be to the floor no it's not all right let's see Uh, here field priming so that's good let's get another prime first start up
All right, so that literally was the first crank, first start. Like I said, if you guys know me, uh, I usually does first start up on the first try. So we still got a little bit more work to do, but I'm probably gonna end the video right here. We still gotta do the intake, get this thing bled, finish the evap system, and just make sure everything is good and ready. And then we're plugging in our um, evap to our hoses, uh, evap box and getting that all done. But I guess that was really good. Uh, this is with the stock ECU wired up. So this isn't Honda K2 or anything. I just ran a pretty much all stock ECU. Everything is stock on here. Only thing that'll be aftermarket is the intake. So, and that's legal. So all we gotta do now is uh, finish everything up. We ordered the lower tie rod ends uh, since I guess these are slightly bent. Hopefully that'll fix that problem. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you haven't, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. And um, if you want to hit me up, hit me up on the comment section or Instagram under rarewooded underscore. Other than that, see you guys on the next video.